what's going on call of duty refugees today we got some exciting news about call of duty yay thank you for subscribing appreciate it gang gang apparently everybody's shaking people are excited right now because call of duty 2025 just got leaked out guys we also got some zombie stuff that i want to get into we're gonna talk about black ops 6 black ops 2 remake apparently is gonna be happening like the video if you just want a good call of duty game Dislike the video if you want that. <laughs> like the video for just good games, fellas. Dislike for microtransactions. Shout out to the homie Nero. Roll it. Today is apparently the day when it comes to Call of Duty news and leaks and tons of stuff going on. Wait Liberty Falls was met with a lot of criticism, and as such, they have gone through and they've given us these two new images right here to kind of show what they've been doing in terms of changing the overall theme and feel of. Uh, uh, it look kind of the same. I don't know. Okay, let's see the next image. The map, as you guys can see, it's still pretty much Liberty Falls, but has yeah. a bit of a darker tone to it. And of course, they do claim that not everything was ready back during Call of Duty Next. And there's different atmospheric elements to the map that were not available at Call of Duty Bruh. Next that will be there at Bruh. launch. We're going to have to wait and see. The changes okay. are not okay. crazy or mind blowing. They basically turn the lights down a little bit and hopefully. Yeah, it's like the same energy, right? I was seeing this float around Twitter all over, you know, all over Twitter <laughs> last night. He ain't do nothing but step back this was like liberty balls and now this is liberty blue balls right now so this is this is this is this is what they did <laughs> this is what they done man but i hope it's good man we're gonna wait for it guys we're gonna maybe add it, a bit okay? more color to the map because looking at the gameplay here just once again everything in this town is gray or white for the most part like it's just so devoid of color and personality and hopefully that's something that they have completely overhauled hopefully. when it comes hopefully like the actual gameplay is good man so that hopefully. map and speaking of overhauls here we have the hud update which they've teased previously, but now we get to see what it looks like. What we're looking at right now is the original HUD that was at Call of Duty Next, as well as what was initially revealed to us by Treyarch. Doesn't look anything like zombies really to me. It doesn't look great whatsoever. Well, here's yeah. the updated version. It's wow, a bit Wow, wow, no way! Wow. That is crazy! That is crazy! Sheesh, sheesh! Okay, 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 okay! I'm joking. <laughs> but now, honestly, better than the other one? But still, like, dog, like, make a HUD, like, Black Ops 3 zombies, Black Ops 2 zombies, bruh, like, what the hell? I mean, it's it's an improvement. I, I gotta give it to them. I gotta give it to them. Like the video if you think that's an improvement. It is an improvement. It is an improvement. But it could have been better, though. Like, damn. But I, I like the fact that they added the character fa face here. Does that mean that we're gonna have, uh, the, uh, I mean, in Terminus, the crew is coming back, but for Liberty Balls... Uh, Liberty Falls, my bad. For Liberty Falls, uh, they said that there wouldn't be a crew. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's what it bit is. better, but again, it's not amazing. Adding a character portrait is nice, and some things got moved around, but this really doesn't scream zombies to me as much as it seems like an adaptation of Warzone. Now, they did say that they're going to be adding visibility sliders to the game to allow players to change what they see and what they don't see in zombies. For example, you can completely remove some things, like the score wow. feed and medals nice. and notifications, you can choose whether or not to have a mini map and how bright that mini map is going to be and a whole bunch of other things as well which is yeah so like the mini map that's like one person opacity that's like 10 percent opacity <laughs> yeah you cannot even see man i'm gonna go blind right there man i don't want to go blind like that bro good they definitely need to do that because what we saw at call of duty next just really felt like warzone the zombies game which we just got in modern warfare 3 essentially with their open world zombies it will be interesting i suppose to see how uh -huh. all this plays out but we got a bunch of other information so let's go ahead and talk about that we, we got call of duty 2025 black ops 2 remake leaks going around as well which i want to talk about as well so wait for that guys and Real quick i want to say if you guys are into conspiracies ufo crap like that st stuff that you want to watch late at night definitely check out the second channel guys this is where we upload every single day okay and also if you do have instagram i would definitely love to have you there links are always in the pinned comment i let you get back to the content here boo boo next loadouts are returning there's still no word on the possibility of classic zombies being added to black ops 6 mm -hmm. but apparently mm -hmm. that might be something for cod 2025 yeah we're maybe, hearing about cod maybe. 2025 already yeah. for crying yeah. out loud <laughs> expect another video on that here in the very near future but when it comes to black ops 6 we have a gun we have a dedicated melee slot we then have a field upgrade tactical lethal and gobble gums pretty standard lots of fans want to go back to just starting off with nothing but your pistol yeah. but here you can still Man, i miss that i miss those days where you would just start off with like the pistol and work your way up i kind of I, I miss that i feel like that this has a place in zombies don't get me wrong they can have the option but they also gotta have an option for if you want to start with just like a pistol and a knife four grenades 
and that's it right like i don't want like all of that man like sometimes i want to like work myself up because if you got everything then it's like not that fun but other times you just want to relax you want to start op you want to get the perkaholics you want to pop that you want to get like all the perks right off the get-go and you want to like just go crazy for round 20 round 50 round 100 whatever right but other times you want to just grind it out too so i feel like that this is not a bad thing but i feel like they need to have an option for people to start it from uh with a, with a pistol and knife uh, with the 1911 like the, the the back in the days right like back in they'll the do days. that or you can choose to use a primary weapon it just really depends on what you want to do speaking of the gobble okay. gums i just talked about here's going to be a full list of what we can Rare. see in black ops 6 and activision has confirmed that these gums will be purchasable from the in-game store while also being able to be earned from playing the game so yeah gobble gums are back and there's a full list right there now when it comes to the different aspects of oh man they about to make a lot of money i remember the anywhere but here that was a classic okay they're still keep keeping it rare cloud with what that was not rare bro what what the hell that was not rare in black ops 3 that was like non-rare item if that makes sense Bruh. though and it was purple so they changed the color so again this meme st uh, stays supreme <laughs> The, he ain't do nothing but step back. It, they did nothing but change the color. It was purple. Nowhere but here. Okay, what? what oh man, like what's that, bro? <laughs> Nowhere but here. Anywhere but here. So anywhere but here. That's like the classic. They're adding a new one. Okay, nowhere but here. With that. Uh, with this one, right? Like with the ambiance like that. With the second coming. Yeah, same kind of vibe right there. Okay. I, I mean, I'm glad the gobble guns are coming back. So perkaholic is no longer yellow. It's more like orange reddish kind of okay zombies here we have all the perks that are going to be in the game i miss the bottles though i miss the bottles man i miss the bottle perks your bottle perks bottle perks or like actual soda cans i even have like this juggernaut machine god david black ops 3 all the way back in 2015 man crazy man simple times man simple times today's uh, today kids today kids won't even know what's what was up back in the days bro at launch r.i.p double tap root beer but maybe that's something they're gonna add in the future or maybe it's just being retired i really don't know and then on top of that we also got to look at no the operator tap. selection screen as well as the new augment system and how all of that is going to work when it comes to the character selection screen it's a lot like what we saw in previous years where you can just play as any operator in the game but so operators are coming back all right i see you can yeah because they said the liberty balls is not gonna be like a story related map right or kind of, i mean terminus is gonna be the big one liberty balls probably not so much i guess well maybe we're gonna oh that's a homie uh blame truth with the with the helmet with that retwite helmet right seems like that we're gonna be able to play with the friendly bbc online seems like that the friendly uav online the friendly bbc uh, we're gonna be able to play with the operator and the call of duty's uh, zombies guys i think so but if you choose to play a zombies Bruh. character it says you get an enhanced story experience and unique content i feel like most people for sure, man, with like the, the friendly BBC online, you're gonna have the story experience enhanced, okay? Yeah, bro, like that's people how it is. are probably just gonna pick a zombies character to play given the nature of the mode, but for some people who are just messing around or grinding camos or doing whatever, they can choose to be whichever operator they choose, which I suppose uh -huh. is a good thing overall. Now, when it comes to the augments, this system is really interesting to me because it seems like an expansion of the progression systems that we had back during Black Ops Cold War. Of the eight perks that we're going to have in this game at launch, there are going to be six augments for each one of them for you to unlock and use. Doing mm. this is gonna change how strong the perk is and give you that sense of increasing power the more you play zombies okay so it's like a uh, perma jug kind of thing right you, if you remember perma jug one in the comments per, you remember perma jug perma quick revive oh man if you remember those you're an og because uh, those were a thing back in black ops 2 right mm, yeah yeah yeah. no i like that it, it it does look good though so far like this thing does look good i just wish that i hope i hope that the the liberty balls map is good i'm gonna wait like I'm not gonna pre-order, I'm not gonna buy the game just yet, I'm gonna wait for day one, day two, see the gameplay, see the zombies gameplay, the finalized version, and if it turns out to be good, yeah, bro, I'm gonna buy, but if not, like, hey man, I'm, I'm cool though, I'm gonna just watch it on YouTube, I'm just gonna save my money though, I wanna know, like, if you guys already pre-ordered, or uh, you're looking to buy, or you're looking to wait a little bit, I wanna know where you at, but so far, this part looks good, I like the fact that they're adding, like, more uh, stuff to it, but I still want, like, 
original perk bottles though like juggernaut i feel like that should be like the original bottles and then they can have something like this too Th it does look cool man it does look cool so the example they gave here of course would be juggernaut and the six augments are deal bonus damage while health is low have a slight increase to your max health armor plates now have more damage mitigation armor completely absorbs all damage from behind armor plates have increased durability and finally when your armor breaks nearby normal zombies will be stunned for a short okay. period of time each of the eight or perks in the game will have their own augments unique to that perk and the same is also going to be true of all the field upgrades and ammo mods which you're seeing mm. that on your screen right here now another okay. example they gave for the augment system is going to be the energy mine which i actually think is pretty neat because once you get to the fourth augment on the energy mine you can then throw it down and have it work as a turret instead of a mine so they're definitely gonna be changing up how things work with these different augments and it will be interesting to see if they add more augments to the game later on not just for new perks and new field upgrades and things like that but maybe expanding upon the previous augments that came out when the game launched it will be interesting to see what they do when it comes to that because this okay. is basically just another form of progression in zombies which i like quite a bit because while you're leveling up your guns doing your camo challenges leveling yourself through prestiges and learning the zombies maps you're all damn like look at that brother out here just walking around though is that like activision police though that gotta be activision police guy though also going to be working towards damn. unlocking more gobble yeah, gums yeah that's activision police right there you, you saw the walkie talkie there and increasing the power of your perks your field upgrades Bruh. and your ammo mods so overall this does seem like a pretty good thing and ladies and gentlemen that is pretty much it yeah, hey whoa okay now let's get down to the call of duty 2025 this is the one guys this is the one man you guys ready for it it's not a remaster it's gonna apparently what we're hearing is that it's gonna have remaster masks from the original black ops 2 which is good but apparently it's gonna be more like a call of duty modern warfare 3 2023 type of situation so it's not like necessarily a remaster which i would prefer i would prefer a remaster but uh it's a new game but i and i don't mind it as long as the game is good though i don't mind it as long as the game is good that's where i'm at but let's find out what's going on and, we'll, well, and we'll i chat. can't believe i'm making this video right now because black ops 6 isn't even out yet we're still more yeah. than a week away from the launch of that game and yet here we are talking about cult it, it happens every year bro it's cult nothing 2025 i mean this surprising. was leaked a while ago early reports indicated that the game was going to be a sequel to black ops 2 and featured remastered versions of all the classic black ops 2 maps mm. that sounds an awful lot like what happened recently with modern warfare 3 which yep. launched with all 16 original og modern warfare 2 maps and then weighed in post launch to start now, if they remaster all the black ops 2 map then that would be awesome but i want to see like remaster black ops 2 zombies maps at that point too man but but that's the thing though they might ruin zombies with their new system man sadly though that that's the thing though this is why like people want like the original uh, and yeah right now we're getting so many remasters and they ruin it so people are like hey where are the new games which i agree with i feel like that we need new games too and then we can also have remasters as well that's perfectly fine right but a game like black ops 2 man suckers have suckers have been wanting a remaster for a black ops 2 for a long ass time man like let me just keep a buck 50 with y'all fellas okay like people wanted a black ops 2 remaster for a long time so it's gonna be interesting to see how they do this right is it gonna be like another like friendly bbc online situation or like uh, you know with crazy amount of microtransaction oh you bet you better believe it man they're gonna <laughs> microtransaction hellify that game it's gonna be microtransactions hell bro especially when it comes to modern warfare 2 og multiplayer black ops 2 because they know these are the games that are gonna sell no matter what because these games were amazing suckers love it suckers love it okay and on top they're gonna add new maps to cater to like the kids uh to the new people to the new cats around the block for call of duty you know that that's how it is and i don't mind them having new maps in like a and them having a remake but i just hope that they don't ruin it though because they always ruin it man they're kings of that so adding original content to the game well today new leaks have surfaced from somebody uh -oh. named fumo i'll put a link to their twitter down there in the description if their twitter is even still up by the time activision gets their hands on them and what fumo posted is information that they got from somebody who is in a focus group for call of duty 2025 when it comes Bruh. to these focus 
these groups, they are under strict NDA, and usually all forms of communication are taken from the players before they go in, but we have oh, seen yeah, leaks come out of these groups in the past. Even here on this very channel, I may have been the first person, or at least one of the first people out there, to reveal details about Warzone 2, because somebody from one of those focus group playtests reached out to me to let me know what they saw in there. I made my video, the entire community saw it, they were all talking about it, like, I didn't think Nero Cinema would be the place I was learning about Warzone, but here we are, and most of what that person told me ended up coming true through mm. Warzone 2 as okay, well as DMZ. Okay, okay. That person did eventually get caught for what it's worth, I'm not sure what happened to them, but... Bumbo Clan Bumbo Brothers! Clan. Oh man, uh, shout out to the Fallen Angels out there, man, salute to that leaker, brothers. We're gonna take time, we're gonna salute, man, that guy was a hero, that guy was a hero. I don't care what y'all like can say, right? That guy was a hero, just like that Orion guy that leaked the Lucia Bruna for GTSX all the way back in September of 2022. It's been more than two years, fellas. <laughs> Let that sink in, man. Let that sink in. Yes, bros. Yes, man. I know you guys are looking like this, man. I be looking like this too sometimes because, yeah, it's been more than two years. Times be flying. We be pushing. I'm pushing 30 right now. Let me know how old are you guys right now, man. We all getting older, bruh. We all getting older, man. Damn, bro. But credible stuff does come from these leaks, so keep that in mind, while also taking everything you hear today with a grain of salt because this is all Got very it. subject to change. According all to Fumo's is. Insider, Call of Duty 2025 will indeed be a Black Ops 2 sequel set in the year 2035 with David Mason as the main protagonist. Omni okay. Movement is going to be a feature in the game, but it's going to be expanded upon compared to what we see in Black Ops 6, which is really weird because Black Ops 6 isn't even out yet, so if you have features for the system playing for COD 2025, why not just add them into the game this year? Yeah. It may be because of the setting and the theme of COD 2025, because it's said that there's going to be some sort of wall jump in the game. It doesn't sound quite like advanced movement, like you're running on the walls or anything like you were back in Black Ops 3, but it definitely sounds a lot more advanced than what we have now, which kind now, of... That, 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 that type of thing, uh, if they want to do it for Black Ops 2 Remake, because we're hearing that the game is set in 2035, okay, yeah, then it would be interesting to see how it goes on. On, right mm, yeah that yeah they can have that separate they can have that dedicated thing for the next game right i guess they're gonna use that to sell it right it's gonna be marked for marketing for hyping up just like how this year they were like hey omni moving guys omni moving omni moving omni moving classic 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 prestige classic prestige zombie zombie zombies round with zombies you know and crap like right. that they did and and they busted our balls they blue balled us with with this map right uh, uh, and showed us uh, at first they got us all shaking they got us all excited but then they revealed us this uh map blue balls or fr uh, not blue balls i mean liberty balls and, and then ended up getting us blue balled right so yeah right like they're, they're gonna do that we got activision police damn man like the activision police constantly walking in the back though damn i'm kind of surprised right now though but there's also a leak going around that in the next year game not this year in the next year game especially in zombies they're gonna have eight player mode and i like that i like that but why don't we why aren't we getting it this year why aren't we getting it this year bro that's the type of stuff that we should be getting this year as well and this is uh, similar to that grief mode if you remember if you ever played black ops 2 uh, the original we had the grief mode right four versus four you got your team and you're you're going against another team i want to see that yeah they should always expand on these uh, game modes we had them back we had that game mode back in black ops 2 we should have had that in black ops 3 we should have had that in black ops 4 and black ops cold war and they should be expanding upon that crap man like yeah because that was a good game mode they just needed more time and uh, of course now the hardware supports it because back in the days the hardware did not support it you had ps3 and xbox 360 and of course pc but generally most people were on the on the consoles right i was a console peasant still i'm a console peasant kg but uh yay so now we got the ps5 pro coming out ps5 pro is coming out and these like i mean I mean, damn man this like is crazy bro that makes sense given the fact that cod 2025 reportedly is going to be set between the events of black ops 2 and black ops 4 just going off of memory here the dates aren't going to be exact but work with me here black ops 2 is 2025 yeah. this game here is going to be in 2035 i think black ops 4 was like 2045 or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. And i think black ops black ops yeah it was 2045 2050 2045 uh right there uh, and, and black ops 3 was 2065 
3 was 2065 or something, yep. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this game is going to be set between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4. So they won't quite have jetpacks or anything, but they definitely leave open the possibility for more advanced movement. So I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. Not much else was really said about not the multiplayer bad, besides bad, human shields will return. But this time, players can throw their human shields towards enemy players. Then, of course, we have the return of the original Black Ops what? 2 maps, as well as the return of game modes like Gun Game and Uplink. Now, when it comes to zombies, things are going to be round based, but offer a bit more variety, supposedly, of this game, because there's going to be options for eight man zombies, which sounds freaking incredible, mm, as well yeah. as a classic mode where players start off with only a pistol and then have to go out and get everything instead of just. Bro, that's what we wanted in this year's bro, damn. And, and it, there, there, there are leaks also about the. Uh, there were leaks. I remember Mr. Garlic JD, Mr. Dalek JD actually uh, talked about classic, classic zombies mode for this year. And apparently that leak is coming out once again uh, alongside this Black Ops 2 remake 2025 game leaks, right? And I believe he's going to talk about it, too. Spawning in with a primary weapon loaded up with attachments yeah, along with field upgrades, year. lethals, tacticals, gobble gums, and all that stuff. This one in particular is a bit odd to me because it seems like there was some mention of classic zombies within yeah. the Black Ops 6 game files. And I know for a fact there are tons, I mean tons of zombie fans out there that want that feature in Black Ops 6. So while yeah, it's still yeah, yeah. possible for the classic mode to exist in this year's game, it sounds like it's going to be a core feature or might be a core feature of COD 2025. Right. Also, the idea of eight-man zombies would be incredible. What was the name of that game mode back in Black Ops 2? Grief, was it called Grief? grief? That game grief, mode was grief. so much fun. You had two teams of four, if I recall, playing zombies together, trying to grief the other team into dying in one capacity or another. They never really expanded upon that. They never really tried anything new when it came to a game mode like that within zombies. And so maybe having eight-person zombies could be pretty crazy. But you might think the maps would have to be pretty large for eight people Not to all really. kind of code. Not really, because, like, you remember Buried? You could have still played uh, Grief on Buried. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't need to have like a crazy big map. You just need the size that they already are making the zombies map to be. The the current size of the maps, right? And apparently we're hearing that the next map in next year's game is going to be super big. Like transit kind of. But maybe even bigger than that. So exist. I already have trouble with four people on the map of people stealing zombies from my window, right? So apparently within COD 2025, apparently. they are going to have a giant zombies uh. map, kind of similar to transit with its own built-in transportation system like we had with the original bus. That sounds interesting to me. I am unapologetically a fan of transit from back same. in the day. A lot of people- Oh, same, bro. I, I love I love transit, bro. Oh, and, and now I, I feel like that a lot of people are liking or starting to appreciate transit a lot more based off of the garbage maps that have been coming out in the last few years right i hope this year zombies is good man i'm gonna wait a day guys i'm gonna wait a day if the game is good i'll buy i'll buy right on the spot we're likely gonna stream a day early because people are gonna stream early they're gonna show gameplay i want to see gameplay you probably want to see gameplay let's hope zombies is good man because I, I i'm looking to get get call of duty this year because last year i didn't buy this year i'm looking to buy but i'm just not sure about it just yet okay check out this video on the screen we recently had gta 6 gameplay leaks ps5 pro leaks as well the graphics and all that check it out on the left uh, we got these crazy amount of clips guys i don't know if you guys saw that or not man another cheater getting caught okay check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there.